Hello and welcome to HP Calcs. I'm Rick and today we're going to have a quick look at how to solve combinations and permutations on a calculator that doesn't have a specific key for this function. For this example we'll be using the Sharp 501x calculator because it doesn't have an NCR or NPR key. Alright, to do this all we need is a factorial key. On this calculator it's this N exclamation mark above the CE key here. Typically on your calculator that'll be indicated by an exclamation mark or an N exclamation mark. To solve combinations, we'll be using this formula here. N factorial divided by R factorial times N minus R factorial, like that. So for our example, for combinations, Let's say we have 5 and want to choose 2, and we want to see how many possible combinations there are. Well, we plug those letters, or those numbers, into the formula, which gives us 5 factorial divided by bracket 2 factorial times 5 minus 2 factorial, there we go, which we can simplify down to 5 factorial divided by 2 factorial times 3 factorial. Alright, to do this we want to use our bracket keys. So, getting started, we enter our 5, then second function factorial. See this calculates it right away, but that's okay. We have our 5 factorial, then we want to divide it by 2 factorial times 3 factorial. So we press divide by, and then we'll use our brackets to make sure that this multiplication happens before the division. So bracket, you can see in the top of the screen there's a bracket letting us know we're using brackets now. 2 second factorial times 3 second factorial. Close our brackets, we get 12 there. And then we press equals to finish the calculation and we see we get a result of 10 letting us know there are 10 possible combinations. We can confirm this on a different calculator that does have a combinations function key. So if we use our sharp EL531, we can simply press 5, second function 5, which is the NCR key there, and then 2. So, and then equals. Here on the screen we see 5, C2, or 5 choose 2 combinations, and there are 10 possible combinations there. So we know that this gave us the correct answer. All right, and if we want to solve for permutations, we use this formula here, n factorial divided by n minus r factorial. So again, if we have, let's say, 5 choose 2 permutations this time, we can punch our numbers into our formula, which gives us 5 factorial divided by 5 minus 2, and then the factorial of that, which we can simplify down to 5 factorial divided by 3 factorial. So this one's easy. If we just enter 5 second function factorial, again that gives us 120 divided by 3 second factorial. There we go, and we press equals and this gives us 20, letting us know there are 20 possible permutations of choosing 2 from 5. Again, we can confirm this by checking our calculator with a dedicated permutation key right here. So if we go 5 second 6, which is our permutation function there, there we go, 5p, or 5 permutations, and then 2, press equals, and we see this gives us 20 total possible permutations. So again, we've confirmed this works. All right, I hope this helps, and good luck on those tests up there, everybody.